so a lot of you are struggling with welding and making ornaments and stuff. So I'm going to show you a real quick way to make Christmas ornaments. And I'm going to teach you how to use nodes and all kinds of stuff as quick as I can. So I'm drawing a circle and I'm holding my shift key down and I got this circle. There it is. And now I want a circle on the inside. Two ways to do it. Control D duplicates it. Click back on your little cursor here. Hold your control key down and drag in until you get the size that you want. The other way is I'm going to control Z and get rid of that. The other way is simple. You just come here to this tool and now we want it to go inward and we're going to click, 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 click. And that's the size we want. We're good to go. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave those ungrouped for now, but normally you want to group those immediately. And that way you can uh, manipulate things. Next thing I want to do is I want to put the word Merry Christmas inside of there. So I come here, I'm going to type Merry Christmas. And I'm going to click my cursor. And you know what? I want that to be kind of like a, a curve. So I'm going to come over here to the side and I'm just going to draw something like that. Now I'm going to click on my Merry Christmas and that ellip ellipse. And I'm going to come here and right mouse click because everything's really right mouse clicking. Apply to path. Right there it is. It's good to go. Now I can rotate this around real quick. Uh, let's just rotate 90 degrees. And let's flip it now. So we've got the flip button right here. And let's flip it the other way. There we go. That's what I want. So you just have to practice with that stuff. Click on the, just the word Christmas, right mouse click, and convert to path. If you don't, it'll be part of that line. Now notice when I went to pull it off there, the M came with it. Control Z. So I want to delete the line real quick, the circle, or the ellipse. We'll grab the word Christmas, and we'll right mouse click, and I'm going to group it. Now I want to put it in here. I want to weld it in there. So I'm going to come back to this tool and click it. And I want it to go outwards this time. Outward. And that's too much. So I want to bring that down a little bit by just watching it to get it to the size I want. And there it is. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to bring both of those up here. Whoops. And by the way, if you notice, there's junk in there. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to ungroup. We'll get rid of a lot of junk real quick. So if there was millions of pieces in there, I just delete them out like that. Now it's done. The next thing I want to do is click this and the word Christmas, because I want to keep them in proportion. I'm just going to click this little bullseye, and it centers them back on top of each other. Bring it over here. I'm going to rotate it a little bit, maybe like this. Maybe bring it down a little bit like that, or I could just do it like this. I want, to, I want it to come off the edge there, just like that. And maybe come off the edge like, like this. Good. Now, this is where people want to learn how to weld. So I hold my control key down and I click the circle and, and the outer part of Merry Christmas. And I come over here and I hit weld and you notice it didn't work. <clears throat> One of the things you want to do is always group things. Now, you can also hold your control key down and click all the things you want to weld. Just make sure they're all clicked and there you go. Or you could have just grouped that one and clicked the two of them and it would have welded. But always make sure something's a, um, a grouped object and then that way you won't run into too many problems. Sometimes you hit this other one which says a uh, union tool and it will also work. So there's Merry Christmas. Now we want to put the little uh, ribbon tie on top where we tie a ribbon. So I'm just holding my shift key down making something that looks relative to size and then I'm going to hit control D and then I'm going to click my little cursor button there and I'm going to hold my control key down just like that okay and we'll highlight these two and we'll group them because anytime we're going to align things we want them grouped same thing here this is not grouped with that so I'm going to group it real quick right mouse click group now I want these two to be exactly lined up with each other Hold my control key down, come right up here to the top. And you got these tools, I'm gonna hit align vertical center, just like that. It looks off because of Merry Christmas right here. See how this is off? So it's not gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna have to eyeball it a little bit. Uh, and it's all because this is oblong now. But you know what? I could go center like this. And now 
that again, you would think that would be dead in the center and it's not. So let's click here, click here, and let's look eyeball the center, something like that. Now we just start nudging it up with the arrow keys. Now I hold my little uh, control key down and nudge just a little bit. I want to weld those together. Hold my control key down, click all that, hit the weld button, boom, that's done, just like that. Now I want to put a Christmas tree in here. So I go to the internet and I find me a Christmas tree. And right mouse click, copy image, whoops, copy image. Okay, now I come back to Lightburn, click and paste. So I got this huge Christmas tree right now. And I'm going to bring it down to size a little bit, just like that. Zoom in, right mouse click, trace it. I'm not going to spend all day showing you this, but notice those lines. I don't want those. So I'm going to fade the image so I can see those lines. I'm going to start moving these sliders until I get what I want. And it doesn't have everything I want. So sometimes when it doesn't have everything you want, you may want to uh, go ahead and come to Sketch Trace and start coming down through here like that until you got everything on this Christmas tree that you want. And let's say that's all I want right there. Hit OK that off and delete it so I have this nice Christmas tree now and I want to weld it into my ornament so I highlight the Christmas tree come over to that tool again click it and make that bigger smaller whatever I want that looks good hit OK click off there click this line I want to get rid of any junk that might be inside that line so I'm going to click it we'll pull this off here like this and I see a little bit of junk right there so I'm going to right mouse click ungroup and since I got just a little bit of stuff I'm just going to highlight it like that and delete it. Now I'm going to click this, click this and I'm going to bullseye it again. Boom. Now I'm going to start bringing this down to size to fit my ornament and we're almost finished. Well, I left a piece up there, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. Let's go ahead and try that again. Grab them both, pull it down like that. And the reason I didn't group it is because if I group it, it may make an issue when I go to weld it. So I'm just going to bring it right here like this. I'm going to click on that outer circle. Click on this outer. Don't want to have the tree highlighted, just the outer part of the tree and then the circle. And then I'm going to click Weld, and there it didn't work, so Control Z. We'll try that other button there. And voila, done. All right, so now we want to make sure this is, <clears throat> we want to make sure that this is going to be cut. So we're going to click on it, we're going to hit Line. All right, so the blue is going to be a, a line that cuts. And we can go take a look at it, see what it looks like right now. So if we change this to a different color, it will do a fill. Same thing here. And the way you do that is you just simply come here, click on it, ungroup it, click on the Christmas tree, and we want the tree to be a fill. So a lot of you are used to red being a cut line, but it can actually be a raster. So just hit fill. There you go. And now we can go see what that looks like. And so there's our tree. And the reason it did that is because it's got some open uh, openings in it. So one thing I could have done is I'm going to hit Control Z and I'm going to leave it as a line. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make it a different line, a lighter line, and it's going to not cut all the way through like the blue line will. And then come here with Merry Christmas and notice that it is all separated now. So I got to kind of come through here, highlight it, <clears throat> and I want to make it. Uh, an actual raster feel and I'll leave Christmas like that so you can just get the idea and so there you go and now this thing's ready to cut out other than I want Christmas not to be cut out I want it so you can manipulate that however you want and there you go that's as simple as it is and if you want to manipulate the way things look click on it like this come over here to your node editor like that and then you can manipulate your nodes. 
So if I just out of general purpose come here and I don't like the way that looks, I can highlight it, hit the letter D, delete it, and then I can start pulling it around. If I hit the letter I, it'll give me a node to insert, and then I can move it around a little bit more like that. If I want to start deleting nodes, I can get right over the top of the node and hit D, or if I want to get rid of the line, I hit D right here, and the line goes away. Now we have a break, which means things are not going to cut through all the way. So what we do is we want to reconnect it. We just simply grab it, pull it over here, tilt, drop it right on top of each other, and now it's connected again. And then you can manipulate things the way you want. So if it's too like jerky and stuff through here, highlight it, hit D, come through here and start pulling it around the way you want it. Hit the letter I, pull it over here, pull it down, hit the letter I, it inserts a node, pull it down, uh, come up here and hit the letter S, and notice how it made it like a curve. And that's all I'm gonna show you. Anyway, I hope that helped you out. The video's getting kind of long, so I'll stop it at this point. Um, Good luck.